Generic greetings, and welcome back to RimWorld once again. In the previous episode, we started our new colony. Martinez, Gizmo, and Tehran have successfully managed to plant some crops, gather resources, building sandbags at the moment, and have a nice area to sleep in, even though it's um, furnished with rocks. But either way, I think we're sort of doing okay, maybe-ish. I don't know. I have no idea whether this is good or not. And, um, yeah, we're just going to crack on. So we're going to keep mining this steel here, and I reckon this will go around the back, and that's fine. Uh, once we've done that... We'll um, probably probably go ahead and think about probably putting some more defensive positions in. I think if we go for, I don't know, if we go for security sandbags, we put a sandbag in there. That might be a good idea, but the plan was to um, have this as another building and have our battery storage in here because we're going to probably put the uh, solar panels, probably put the solar panels here. Eventually this building I'm going to pull down. This is just, it's, it's it's useful at the moment, but we will be removing it to uh, to do other things. Uh, we also want to dig in there, apparently. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. Sometimes it's really bad when you dig into things like that. You get like a cryo sleep pod or you wake something up and it's, yeah, it can be quite iffy. Anyway, so, uh, they're going to mine all there. That defense is getting finished. Uh, we do need some defenses maybe around here. So what I'll do is I'll just go to sandbags and we're going to put in like just a little bit of defense like that. And then um, over this side, again, we'll do something similar. So it's just three and three. And then we've got somewhere to hide behind. This area is quite pretty much the same. We uh, we don't really want to wall off. Um, this person is also idle. This is uh, Tehran. And that's because of reasons I don't know. Uh, let me just check on the, uh, on the work. So Tehran... Good at doctoring, um, cooking, growing. Nothing to grow though, really, is there? I don't know if that's enough crops either. But what I'll do is I'll get them. We really do need to get a building to craft in, don't we? Um, well, ideally, they need to be going there. Let's craft the building with the power. Or do we want to store power inside? That means digging a lot. Can I put them onto digging is the question. Um, so, tier run. Mining. They've got three. Oh, level. They've got three skills in mining. So, yeah. They can try. They can go on with that one. You can see immediately they're going to run off and do other things. Uh, we also need to haul these sandstone chunks. But I don't know where to haul them. Because, quite honestly, the, um, the idea is to... Put them... Where do I want to put them? I think I'll just put them around here. What I'll do is go over to... Zone and area. Uh, we want a dumping stockpile. And I'm going to put them... Like this. And the reason for that... Uh, actually, we'll probably cancel that a little bit there. Can I not just get... I'll have to get rid of that to eat. Um, I want to have it so... If people are running this way, they're going to have to go over this uh, massive stockpile of brick. Like that. Same as over, same over here as well. So they're gonna have to go through that in order to get um, to get past it. So we'll haul things. We'll haul all of that. Get rid of these bits out of the way. Obviously, a lot of these are resources that we can use. These ones here. And this is coming to a nice shape. A lot of resources as well. We'll just click on them and see what their needs are. Um, you can see the eight without a table, uh, feeling bad, awful bedroom. Not too happy about that. We've got some visitors. A group of uh, a group from the Neon world, our amalgamation, is visiting the colony. There they are. So, um, looks like they've got some decent stuff. We've had a nice chat. And in terms of their health, they're okay. And it looks like... Oh, the gunslinger. What's that? Compacted plastic. Oh, yeah, it's just a nice blue colour. It's because the sun's changed. Um, hi, everybody. Um, I could talk to them. So, who, who's, the, who's our best in talking? So. Would it be social? It would be social. Oh, it's almost certainly going to be you. So, can you talk to them? Um, or are they just visiting the colony? Got revolvers and shivs. I mean, I don't know what they're doing here, but um, 
It is nice. It is night, so they're going to uh, they're going to go to bed. We need a meal resource. It's it's basically saying that I don't have the resources to cook food, and it is completely correct. I don't, which is why I'm thinking let's sack off inside here, and instead we'll just build a building around. We'll have a building around here. I think that's going to be the way forward. So we'll have it go across. Down. Um, Gizmo thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Um, well, obviously it's going to be the the Genericans. Since you look like you'll be here for a while, Gizmo thinks you should n give this community a name. What would this local community be called? Um. Hmm. Um, I don't know. See, this is the same problem as when people say, have you got a community name for the subscribers? No. Everyone's an individual and people. Just don't, doesn't, not necessary. Um, gives more things you should give the colony name. What should this community be called? It's going to be the G community because I can't think of anything else. So, we'll put the wall in. Uh, it'll go along here and up there. And then we should have a couple of doors. And the doors will probably go in either side. So, I think I want one as a cool storage. So, we'll have this as a cool storage. We'll have an entrance in. Probably just slam it in the middle like that. I think I don't even know if that's the middle. Is there a middle? Ten. And ten. It is! There is a middle! Yes! Success! Anyway. Uh, also, this will have a roof on it. This will get a roof eventually. Um, so what I'll do is have a wall going along mm, probably there. Like that. Uh, we'll have a floor as well, because that would be of some use. So research finishes the recurve boat. So let's check the research screen. We can go for they say in order to get gun turrets, you need that and that, so we need to go really up this great boat. Unless you can go for smithing, do it that way. Yeah, actually that would have been a better way of doing it. Ah oh, well, we'll go for smithing first. So, I want to have some floor... Uh, floors. Smooth floor, roof floor, concrete part... No, it's going to be... I guess you could oh, use steel for that. No, we'll use wood. Like that. And there, and we've got to have some outside bits as well. And we also need... There's a mad animal. There's a mad squirrel and it's coming for us. Okay, so we're going to select everybody. This is the first time we're going to do combat. What you do is you draft people and then you send them to a location. And... Oh no, the squirrel's fast. <laughs> um, Pull back, pull back, pull back. Squirrel running at us. Squirrel. Attack the squirrel, please. And get Gizmo out of the way because we're going to get shot. <laughs> Run away! Okay. Have we got it? I think we have. Okay. So, we've done that. Uh, Squirrel is now dead, and also Gizmo is hurt. Let's check their health. Squirrel bite teeth. Okay. So they're going to go and have a bit of a rest. There's no medical bed. Um, they're just going to... They might be They might be treated. They might not be. But they should be fine. That's not really too much to worry about, that one. Right, back over to the door. We're going to put a door in um, probably at the top here. Because food's going to come in and then go into there, you see. And we do need some furniture. Actually, not furniture. Production. We want... Well, we've got a electric stove. We've got a butcher's table. Probably put the butcher's table inside there. Um, so do I just want... Electrically powered stove with attached countertop for preparing meals, and that one is fuel. Okay, we're gonna have we're gonna have an electric one because we are gonna get electricity up anyway. So, and I'll probably have the electricity on this side. Although that does, you do get a lot of. I think it does require cooling because otherwise the batteries explode, which is obviously suboptimal. So anyway, uh, this is tell me about cover and shooting. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Cool. Okay. So we'll knock it up to faster speed. We haven't got any lights in here, by the way. I'm aware of that, but uh, we will change that at some point. 
So Gizmo is fully healed, but they are, for whatever reason, still sleeping. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and also, he's idle as well. Why is Tyrone an idol? Hmm. Because I'm not very good at anything. They've got good at handling, so I'm going to turn them on on that one. I'm very good at doctoring. They're just not good at growing. Well, they've got growing and other things on and mining. Oh, in that case, mining. I'm going to say we've got all that to do. By all means, if you want to keep mining, then uh, we can do that. So I'll say mine. That and that, because that's where it is in here. Um, it's forming caravans. You can form a caravan, send groups of people across the world. I will be doing that later because I have never. That's something I've never actually done in the game. Uh, that's a dead squirrel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these things here. Uh, this is our storage. I'm going to make sure that we can't store foods in it. Actually, is that. Oh, that's a stockpile zone. That's why it's different. Dumping stockpile. There we go. So that one. Yeah, no foods. No raw. Uh, and no corpses, thank you. No. So why is that different from that one? Oh, because that's another stockpile zone. Dumping stockpile. There we go. And that one we don't want corpses. Right. Sorted. So we'll max speed that out. We've got then this to finish off. This to have cold storage, which will then take this in the dead squirrel and we'll, we'll butcher it, you see, because it spoils in two days. So we need to have this stockpile set as it can have foods, it can't have corpses. Um, turn off plant matter on that one. And that should be fine. Uh, and we don't want food on that one either. So this one doesn't have food, but... This one is a stockpile zone. And this one... If I can click on the stockpile zone... No, I can't because the blueprints are in the way. Um, I think I can... No, gonna have to wait until it's finished. So, he's taking a while to dig, but he's digging it nonetheless. In terms of needs, um, general mood is okay. Joy's going up, comfort's going down, as you might imagine. Food's not too bad. We do have still enough survival packs for a couple of days, and then once that's done, hopefully our crops will be sorted. Crops are 33% grown there and 55 on there, so it's going to be a couple of days. Uh, I do want to haul that. Just wait until they finish off, really. They're going to have brekkie, and then they're going to finish this stuff off. I want to prioritise. Oh, you can't do that. There's only Martinez I'm constructing. By the way, you notice we're also getting these herbal medicines. It's uh, because we've... Um, it's because we've managed to... Why can't you finish that one off? Have we not got the resources? Marking material wood, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so orders chop wood and then just say that. <laughs> if you need wood, you go over and do that. Um, working mining is below plant cut, yeah. So that. Although, is that classed as. Is, I don't think that might be classed as plant cut. No, it is, it is. That's fine. So they're finishing them off. That's fine. I get rid of, might as well chop that wood on that one. Uh, a group of hungry uh, alpha beavers has just arrived. Try to limit them before they decimate every last tree in the region. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, that's a lot of beavers. Are they going to... Oh my god, they are really ripping through that, aren't they? Um, right, well, I've got this stockpile zone now. Let me just change that to... 
Uh, we don't manufacture it in there. Oh, no. Don't manufacture it. Or to clear all. We'll say nothing for all. We're going to allow animal corpses. We're going to allow plant matter and uranium, because that's enough. Uh, <laughs> we'll allow medicines, drugs, and that's it, and all foods. So that's what this will be storing. And that priority also will set to important. So they're going to move stuff sooner rather than later. Like, for example, that there. And because it's cooler in there, it shouldn't spoil. Uh, spoils in a day. Still spoils in a day. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Um, right, so we need power. We need to get power up sooner rather than later. So let's get power solar generator. We'll put a couple of solar generators in. Um, probably around here will be fine. Actually, where do I want to put them? I can put them here. Ideally, this is going to be another building, though. But that's very defensible, so maybe this is the way forward. Then put a wall around there. Yeah, actually, that's that's the way I'm going to do it. So one there and one there. Um, yeah, there we go. Then power conduit. We'll go straight into that for a start off. We also need batteries, which... I'd say storage is a problem. We'll put three of them in there for now. That might be changed. Hopefully that'll be connected up, or is it not? Um, actually, that's not required. Yeah, so that should be powered up. I think there was a line already connected there. Yeah. So, once they're done... Uh, how is the alpha beavers, anyway? They're all asleep. Uh, and also, apparently, a chunk of the spacecraft has just landed. That's quite bad. <laughs> I'm guessing you can disassemble it. But it does say deconstruct and reclaim parts of resources. Yes, that's going to be interesting too. So, those will be grown shortly. We can butcher that. We've still got enough food for a couple of days because we've only got three people anyway. And we can go hunting if we do so desire. Although, I don't tell you what we would hunt. Um, what I want to do is go to temperature and go to cooler. I want to spin this round so it is that way. And what this will do is this will take all the heat out. And it basically, this is the cold side, this is the hot. Drags the heat out so you cool down this area. Uh, that is now on. I'm going to say bills, add meal, cook simple meal, and I'll just say do forever. Actually, no, we'll just say do ten times. And it'll always try to cook a simple meal, which is just something. Although we do need to butcher the squirrel um, first, because it's still it's there. Um, so, power, power conduit. Connect that up in the wall there. And we need a butcher's table. Production. Um, butcher's table. And we'll have the butcher's table in here. Like that. So at least we're getting power now. This is good. Obviously, we can add lights in here because these are... If we go turn on the beautification button, which is environmental display, you can see that is not very good. That is... Well, that's why is that horrible? Ah, right, because it's... Uh, it needs to be... That's bad. That's a raid. It's um, quite ugly because of what? Minus 15. Is it because of the darkness? Probably. We'll need to sort that out. Either way... Current ah, current problems are that person over there. So they're going to have a raid. They're preparing. And then eventually, we will be able, once they're finished, oh, they're coming. I'm going to draft them and bring them here. And we'll wait. So, swap those round. I won't. Um, Chicken spacecraft's landed nearby. Where? Keeps landing. I'm just waiting for this person when he's going to attack. Eventually, it'll pop up and say they're attacking. There you go. They're attacking. So, their assault's beginning. So, they probably won't last long. They've got a knife, and I've got a rifle. Now, I could, if I wanted to, try and take them as a prisoner, but I'm not. And that hasn't worked out. So, okay, melee attack then. There we go. They're gone. Right. Um... 
I guess we'll undraft those. And let's see what wound they've got. Health. Bruise knight. Oh, bruised. Okay, so they're not really that bothered. So if we want to capture them, what are they like? They're a gun dealer. Good at social and shooting. Um, in order to capture them, I'd have to put them in a prison. And I don't have a prison, and I don't think you can have an outdoor prison. Um, sleeping spot. Fairly confident you can't. Yeah. Only beds in closed spaces can be set to that. So I can't do that. Um... So, they're just going to sit there and bleed out, really. And what sort of health are they? Oh, my good grief. They've been shot. They've got gunshots. Right. I don't think I'll be even be able to save them. They've got blood loss, gunshot in the neck, two gunshots to the torso, and then also the left leg and lung, and, and they've got a peg leg. So, oh, death in four hours anyway, so I won't even be able to build it. Right, fine. There's nothing much I can do about that. Is that a bear? That is a bear. Grizzly bear, in fact. So, we are going to have to have a, an area for them. And I don't really want to just dump them. There is, I'm sure. Well, I know there is. I just don't know where it is. Um, a grave. There it is there. It's in Misk. So, sarcophagus, grave. Uh, the graves we'll put... Well, you need to put it on land that you can dig. Um, we'll probably put it quite far away, like there. There you go. So, Martinez is fully healed. Um, we've got this now working. So, I'm going to set it. So, target temperature is 21 degrees C. No, target temperature is going to be... 2 degrees C. Because we want this frozen. Yeah, it's frozen, won't spoil. So that won't, um, that won't spoil now. That's useful. So we're going to add a bill to the butcher's table, and we'll say, uh, butcher creature, and we'll just say, I do, do forever. If there's, if there's butchering to be done, then do it. So that should be okay. Um, obviously that person is now dead. They're going to be taken over to the grave and out the way. Obviously, because Martinez is doing that, performing the rites there, now we'll probably have, um... I know they really don't care about <laughs> about that. That's fine, I guess. So that's been butchered. We've said cook simple meal, although we haven't got... Hang on. Uh, it is floors. Wooden floor there. So that's working there. That's all right there. That's growing. Mm, so... Where do we need to go from here? We need to probably make some... We need to sort the rock out, I think. So, butcher's table, sculptor's table, stone cutter's table. That's the one. Put that there. Then we can do some stone cutting. We also really need, ideally, like some... Probably place like a horseshoe pin so they can. It's got a bit of entertainment. There's a chessboard as well and billiards table. That's a big table. A poker table. <laughs> I don't think that's really one for me at the moment. Let's put a, one of these horseshoe pins in. Uh, does it really matter where I put them? We're going to have walkways around here, so we'll put it like there. There you go. So two colonists are idle, which is obviously very far from ideal. I think. I think some more crops. So, zones, growing. It's a six by six, two of them. And this one will go for... Um, if we go for cotton, we could make some... We could make some... Uh, some clothing. A strawberry plant as well. Fragile but tasty. It takes oh, not too long to grow. Let's have some strawberries then. Oh, what about corn? Long time to grow but yields loads of food and takes a long time to spoil. Needs fertile soil. Well, I think we've got that. So we'll go for corn. 
And we'll go for strawberries. And we'll just see what, what works. So we should still be in the growing time. We've also got fog rolled in now as well. So we're not going to be producing as much energy. It's not too much of a problem. Still one colonist idle though. Um, I'm guessing because there's no mining task. So we'll get a mining task on that one. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. We also probably need a better place for um, Alan to sleep. So I think... What we'll do... Where is it? Animal sleeping box. We'll put an animal sleeping box in Alan and... Who's who's the owner of Alan? Um, Martinez. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, where's he going to sleep? So I can go in Martinez's house there. Um, we haven't got torches. I think we'll go for electric lamps. Standing lamps. Um, it's a shame we can't put one there. <laughs> We'll have to put a bit more power in. So we'll have one... Oh, flickering textures. Um, we'll have one in the bottom of each place. Although if we put it north like that... Ah, yeah, that's better. So cancel that. Cancel that. What the hell is that flickering all about? That's really bugging me. Unpause it. I think it might be that. I don't know what it is. That's weird. Standing lamp. One, one, and one. And then power... We'll have power conduit go along like that. And that should hopefully connect it up. Uh, there's other ways of generating power. Obviously, we've got uh, wind turbine, which is always pretty good. Um, well, I don't know if we really want a wind turbine at the moment. Um, ideally, you want the like the area clear where you place it, which that's actually not too bad there. Because we can't really build around there. We, we can build around there, but we're not going to build around there. So do we want a wind turbine? That's always going to be clear, so maybe that's a good idea, and then connect it up that way. Then we've got two, two ways of generating power, you see. Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay. So that's connected up there. That's will, that will be connected up there. Um, we probably do need the same in here, then. So it'll be in power. No, it won't. Standing lamp, which will go in the middle. There we are. Right in the way of where they walk. Perhaps that's not a good idea. <laughs> there. That should be fine. Mining's still underway. Lamp's now in. That can be... Mm, ideally, you don't want it to be dark, so I'll put a lamp in. And the cat's wandering around and eating as well. Um, Do I have an area for the cat to eat, actually? Oh, we need to check home zone. Uh, That's all fine, that's home zone. Growing zone sword, that there. I think that's about right. Okay. So nobody's growing that just yet. They've other things to do. Now making meals, though. Do you see that? Actually growing some meals. Um, because we've got harvest rice plant, you see. So that's good. We like this. And we'll say do X times. Probably that many times. That'll do it. Okay, so, uh, it says low food. Um, not strictly true. We're going to be cooking loads of meals anyway, so it won't spoil as well because it's frozen. So far then, I think we're doing okay. We have a wind turbine, which is up and running. We will go over to power, power conduit, and then we're going to obviously connect the power conduit up to, um, up to the grid, like so. And... I think we'll leave it there. Not a bad episode, I don't think. Um, so we've managed to get this building running, double crops, uh, power, stopped um, the, the raiders. The problem is them beavers. Where are them beavers at? They are... Um, well, they're obviously not around here because there's still all the trees there. So I don't know where they're at, where they've gone. Oh, there they are. There they are, there. There's the hungry beavers. Uh, there's actually been something that's been attacked as well. Look at that. There's loads of blood all over the place. So I don't know if they're... don't know if they're... Oh, they're weakened. Malnutrition. Okay. I think then, next episode, the first thing we do is go over there and take these beavers out. Because we'll be able to get some skins, we'll be able to get some meat, and we'll be able to make better meals. Right? That's the plan. Okay, so, hopefully that'll work out. If not, then uh, we'll restart the series. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>